Hi, this is Andy Bed of Great Plains Gravel. Today I'm going to do just a short video on a bike maintenance subject that seems to come up pretty regularly that I was challenged with initially. And that's dealing with French threaded pedals and what you do when you just can't get a set of pedals that will work for you. This bicycle has workable French threaded pedals, but they're very uncomfortable for me. And I'll bring the camera in and show you that. These are pretty typical French leotard pedals. You find these on a lot of bikes from the 70s bike boom that have French threaded cranks like this bike does. These things for me are very uncomfortable. There's very little surface to get any, any grip. So you better be wearing some, some very soft soled sneakers and if you are wearing soft sole sneakers like that if you're like me you end up with hot spot issues so these pedals just do not work for me really would prefer to leave it french threaded but that just doesn't seem like a good option i did consider trying to go to toe cages um, so that way my feet wouldn't slide off i wore stiff soled cycling shoes like my mountain bike shoes but as you can see, there's not even really a place where you could attach a toe cage. So I'm just going to go the route of retapping these to 9 16 threads like most conventional pedals and solve that problem. So my objective with this is just to show you that it's pretty straightforward to re-thread a set of French threaded pedals. They are really close to 9 16 so it just takes a couple of tools and a little bit of patience. These aren't highly valuable cranks. I could get another set for little or nothing if I manage to not thread them properly. So it's not a super big risk. So what do you need to do this? Well, you need taps. These things are designed basically to re-thread something to a different thread size. This is a set that I bought off Amazon for about $20. I'll put a link in the video description below. There's lots of alternatives out there. These were inexpensive. They do the job. I've done a couple of sets of pedals already with them. You have to have something to turn the taps with once you get them started in the threads. I did get a real tool from Park Tool. In an ideal world, you would do this with the cranks out and in a vise in a very stable location. I don't have a good vise, and I've done it with them on the bike a couple of times with success. But beware, you'd be better off. It's safer to do them in a vise. Another thing to be sure of, if you've got your taps, there's a left and a right. Since the pedals are threaded different directions, make sure you use the correct one. These off of Amazon are marked, but it's really, really subtle. There's a little Chinese character on the one that's the left-hand one. I was able to figure that out from basically looking at them, and you can see which way the threads are turned. But I went ahead and marked them with a right and a left with my Sharpie, so I wouldn't have to think about that in the future. So do make sure you're doing this right, because you only get one chance. They do recommend that you use a little bit of lubrication for this process, both to help the tap work well and to carry the little flakes of metal because you are cutting metal out to re-thread it. So you could use chain lube. I'm just using WD-40 type lube. This is the most challenging part of the process, getting the tap into the thread straight. It doesn't exactly fit because the threads are a different size than what you're tapping to but you need to make sure it's in straight to start with in order for your threads to be straight. So invest some extra time when you're doing this to make sure you've got it right. The general theory is once you get started, and I finally got this started, to turn half turn and then turn back a quarter turn to get the flakes out. So half turn back. Since the process of actually running the tap through the threads isn't that exciting, I have fast forwarded through this. The thing I would note at this step is that the level of resistance to running the tap 
through the crank arm can vary. On this side of this bicycle, it was relatively easy. On the other side, I had to use quite a bit more force, even though the tap was lined up correctly with the pedal thread. So you can have varying levels of resistance. The key I'd note is make sure that you haven't gotten it crooked. That can also be a cause of more resistance. This is the point in the process you clearly remember that on this side they're left-handed threads, so you go the other direction. If you don't remember this at this point, you're going to make a mess. So left-handed tap, left-handed threads. The way I always think about it is the direction you're pedaling the bike when you're on the left-handed side. It takes a little bit of pressure a lot of the time to get it to start, but once it starts you can tell and if it's fairly smooth that's probably in there right. little bit of expense in owning the tools if you have a local bike shop kind of an old-school local bike shop they might do this for a pretty nominal amount and that would be well worth it because as, as some people would say you've got somebody else to blame if it ends up going south you don't get them threaded straight here we've got the completed project in this case I've just put on a set of Shimano SBDs which is what I traditionally use on my road or mountain bikes but the point being that you can use any traditional 916 inch threaded pedal. New French pedals are unobtainable and the used supply is pretty limited as far as what you can get and in the US the price is pretty high for virtually anything but the leotard pedals that I had on the bike. So this just shows you can transition a older set of French threaded cranks to new pedals makes the bike a little bit more useful, a little more user friendly from my perspective. If this video has been useful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Thank you.